Ciao, ciao, ciao. I feel like I haven't checked in at all this week and that's probably because I haven't <laughs> so this vlog is a shorter week than usual because Sunday and Monday were part of August so I kept them a part of last week's vlog so that I could have my newts wrap up and everything all together so yeah we've really only got Tuesday to Saturday in this one and I don't think I've checked in with you and said anything at all this week <laughs> So here we are. On Tuesday, which was the first after work, I just edited my vlog and uploaded it and I think that's it. I think I started reading my first book of the month, but yeah, I didn't do a whole heck of a lot that night. And then Wednesday after work, my mom dropped by and we chatted for a few hours and then I read a little bit before bed and that's all that I did. I was hoping to have my TBR for this month up on Thursday. I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> yeah, and then Thursday night after work, I did work late on Thursday because I had Friday and I have all of next week off so there's a lot of stuff that I just wanted to catch up on so it wasn't hanging over me <laughs> throughout my vacation. I just wanted to know that I cleared everything off my to-do list before I left because I know a whole bunch of stuff is going to come in while I'm gone and I'm already going to have a mountain to dive into when I get back so yeah I ended up working a little bit late just so I could get all of that done and then I had a wine night with my friend and we caught up on life because I haven't talked to her in forever. <laughs> that was nice. And yesterday, I had yesterday off. It was Friday the 4th. And I read all day long. That's pretty much all that I did. I read like 90% of The Girl of Fire and Thorns. And I finished it. And this book, you guys, I really, really, really liked this book. I think it, this series is probably going to end up being one of my favorite series. There's something about this that really reminds me of Tamora Pierce and I loved her books growing up. I read I read The Song of the Lioness Quartet, The Immortals Quartet, and then I don't remember what the one afterward. I'm just looking at them on my other shelf. I don't remember what the, the quartet of that one is called and I started reading the fourth one and I just loved them so much. The first three I read over and over and over and over when I was growing up and I just loved them so much and there's something about this series that feels like that series. Like the stories are very different but there's just something about, I don't know if it's the writing style or that it's like a young girl, I don't know, because like there's tons, there's tons of other YA books that I read that are about young women but there's something about this that feels so much like those books to me. This story was definitely really unique, the magic in this is unique, the world, I just really really liked it and I think it's gonna end up being a favorite for me. I flew through it, I can't wait to pick up the next two books. Honestly, if I didn't already have my TBR set and filmed, I would probably just have put all three of them on here because I just want to pick them up right now and just start reading them all. I don't want to have to wait until October but I'm going to make myself wait because I have already found my TBR and I also really want to read all of those books. But yeah, this was so good. Another thing that I also really liked about our main character, she's overweight and I love that. And some of the other characters mock her for being fat. The little prince calls her fat at one point and she just 
learns to embrace herself for who she is, and I love that. And it was so nice to have a different body type of representation in a book with a badass female lead because I really liked her and she was so strong. So that was that was really nice to have that little bit of difference because I'm definitely not thin. So I finished that probably around 7 p.m. last night and then I started reading The Way of Kings because I'm doing the Stormlight read-along as well so I wanted to make sure that I was getting that started because there are people who are on chapter 25 already and I'm like I got to I read like the prologue and those intro chapters and I think I finished chapter one by the end of last night. But yeah, I wanted to try to stay on top of keeping up with the Stormlight read-along. Um, some people in the read-along are just flying through everything. Like, one person posted on chapter 66 already, and I'm like, most people don't seem to be there yet. And I don't know, if I'm writing a book with other people, I want us all to be around the same place. But that's okay. We'll see. I'm hoping maybe that this weekend while I'm camping I'll be able to binge read a whole bunch of it and catch up because I really don't want to miss out on like the community and discussion points of all of this so I do have some catching up to do with that one because I think most people seem to be around chapter 20 to 25 already so I definitely want to get there. I'm not there yet. My plan for today is to finally edit my TBR video and post it right away today because it's late already. It's two days after I wanted to have it up. I don't think anyone else cares or was anticipating or waiting for it anyway, but I really want it to be up and done. And then I'm hoping to finally film my bookish bullet journal video because I haven't done it and it's the fifth of the month already and I want to be tracking stuff, so I need to film that today. I want to have that go up on Thursday next week. Yeah, I do have some running around to do. I want to go to the dollar store and get a couple little props so that I can batch take a whole bunch of Instagram photos because I actually want to keep up with posting on Instagram this month because I'm terrible at it, so I figure if I take like a week or two weeks worth of photos then at least I can already have my stuff and just po post them. So I'm going to try to do that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on. I want to make sure that I have enough content and videos to have things scheduled for while I'm gone because I'm camping Monday to Friday. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm keeping up with my upload schedule because I've been really proud of myself. Even though I'm late, I'm late posting my TBR. But that's okay because it's still going up. It still counts. It's still this week. But yeah, that's everything. I'm going to finally dive in to getting some of this stuff done and I will catch up with you later. Hey, it is Saturday night. I'm sorry I didn't take you on most of my day today. I ran some errands this morning and then I came home and filmed my bookish bullet journal video and oh, I finished editing <laughs> I finished editing and uploading my TBR video and then I ran my errands and then I came home and filmed my bookish bullet journal video and then realized I forgot to hit upload on YouTube for my TBR so that I finally got up super late today. I think it was like around 5 p.m. I've been listening to Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson pretty much all day while I've been working on YouTube stuff so that's great. I have managed to listen to 10 hours of this audiobook and I only have like five hours left. Yeah so this week is off to a slow start but also it is not a full week. Yeah, in the past five days I've only managed to fully finish one book. I finished The Girl of Fire and Thorns I told you guys about this morning and I'm pretty close to finishing Star Sight. I imagine I'll probably listen for at least another hour so I'll probably finish it tomorrow and then I'm 50 pages into The Way of Kings so hopefully I'll read a little bit more before I go to bed. But yeah, that's how my first week of Bookoplathon went. I'm going to get back to this and try to finish as much of this bullet journal video as I can tonight so that I don't have to save too much for tomorrow, but I'm getting tired, so I might not last that much longer. Oh, and I did clean my study today. I, I wonder if I can give you a quick tour. So my desk is clean again, and I watered a bunch of my plants. They're all looking still kind of sad, but... And then I've tidied this area again. I have a new blanket so yeah that's clean and I organized my stationary shelf a little bit although I still need to put those scrunchies away I also realized that I've never shown you the shelf on the other side of my room so I'm going to give you a quick tour of that because I 
reorganized a lot of what was on there. So I do have some other bookshelves on this side of the room. They're books that I typically don't read or they're not part of my main collection. So I'll kind of give you a brief overview of what's going on over here. Yeah, so this top row are books that I read as a kid and were some of my favorites growing up, but I just can't get rid of them for nostalgia. I also reread like these a lot <laughs> when I'm sick. Those are my favorite books to go to and reread. And then I have some, oh, my skincare is still on there. Yeah, and then I have these other books that I just, they're not my favorite, but I haven't unhauled them. But if I need space, they're probably going to be the first to go. And then these are some other, it's just kind of a strange mix of books. So this series, like the Undead and Unwed series, they're hilarious. It's like really smutty vampire stuff back when that was um, pretty popular. <laughs> so that's what that is. It's just the character, she's, she's pretty dumb and hilarious and I just really enjoyed her. So I bought a bunch of them. I haven't read them all. But I have a feeling those will probably end up being unhauled one day. And then these are some other adult fantasy books that they're more like urban fantasy. It's not really something that I typically read very often. And then this is a romance book that was one of my mom's favorites and one of her first. So I have that. This is a friend's book that she wanted me to get into romance. And I never read it and I've had it for years. And then these are some more borrowed books books and this is uh, Lovely Bones and it just didn't fit anywhere else so <laughs> it's sitting there. And then I have my historical fiction over here and then regular fiction, some Owlcrate um, boxes and other fiction books and then down here is like self-help I guess. Yeah, self-help, fitness, um, I don't know. I haven't read most of what's on that shelf. And then these books down here are my partner's books. He has never read a single one of them, and I doubt he ever will, but I have to have them in here for him for some reason. Well, up top, I have all of my yearbooks and a whole bunch of Alice in Wonderland stuff. My friend made me those bookends. And yeah, I have multiple copies of Alice in Wonderland, so <laughs> those are all up there. And then this is where I have my, like classics, I guess, and non-fiction. So I do have some true crime and some memoirs and that's pretty much it here. This shelf is my recently hauled books. I have them facing the other way so that I don't accidentally spoil them in a video. <laughs> Similar with on my other shelf, if you've seen those backwards books, those are recently hauled books that I haven't done a haul video for yet. And then these books were borrowed from my stepmom. I had originally borrowed the Mistborn trilogy from her and Elantris, so I need to give them back to her, so those are just chilling there for now. And then over here, I just have some binders of old schoolwork, old textbooks from university, and then this is my D&D stuff, so I have my character sheets, my player's handbook, and inside that box is a bunch of dice and whatnot. Uh, my friend currently has my monster manual and my dungeon master's manual still too, so I need to get those back from him eventually. And then down here is not book related stuff. I have a back massager, some yoga blocks, and inside there is some fitness related stuff. I have foam rollers and my printer and a storage box and then I have this broken teacup that I want to put a trailing plant in so that's why I have a broken teacup in here but yeah so I thought I would show you those shelves because you never really see them and they had been used to just store a whole bunch of stuff lately. They finally have some sort of organization going on in them now, which is really nice. So I thought I would share that. My voice is also getting really weird and vocal fry-like, so I am going to finish editing this video, read, and go to bed. But yeah, that's everything for week one. Sorry it wasn't a whole heck of a lot. I guess it's probably a nice break though after how ridiculously long my last vlog video was, so balance, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how did your first week of September go? Did you make any headway on any of your goals or any of your reading goals? 
yeah, just say hi down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you and have a great rest of your day.